Iran announced that its new Damavan-2 naval vessel will be equipped with hypersonic missiles in the latest illustration of Iran's advancing military capabilities, Ruda reported on 3 July. In the coming days, the Iranian Navy's northern fleet will receive a Damavan-class frigate, which will be capable of carrying helicopters, missiles, torpedoes, modern guns, and air defense weapons, state media reported. Sharam Irani, a rear admiral in the Iranian Navy, said that the new vessel will be equipped with hypersonic missiles, as well as the most advanced defense equipment. In early June, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC Aerospace Unit, unveiled its first hypersonic ballistic missile, the FATA, with a range of up to 1,400 kilometers. The Iranian Defense Ministry in late May unveiled a new ballistic missile with capabilities to strike targets 2,000 kilometers away and carry warheads weighing 1,500 kilograms. Ballistic missiles can travel at hypersonic speeds, Mach 5, but have set trajectories and limited maneuverability. Hypersonic weapons fly at speeds of at least Mach 5 and are highly maneuverable and able to change course during flight, making them almost impossible to target with air defense systems. It doesn't matter what the threat is, if you can't see it, you can't defend against it, General John Hyten, the former vice chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, stated in January 2020 regarding hypersonic weapons. Titan explained further, we don't have any defense that could deny the deployment of such a weapon against us, our defense is deterrent capability. In May of this year, U.S. Air Force Gen. Glenn D. Van Herc testified in May before the Senate Armed Services Subcommittee that hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to detect and counter, given the weapon's speed and maneuverability, low flight paths and unpredictable trajectories. Van Herc also expressed concern about Russian and Chinese efforts to develop hypersonic weapons and delivery platforms designed to evade detection across multiple domains and strike targets anywhere on the globe, including North America. Russian military officials claimed in 2022 that they fired hypersonic missiles for the first time in Ukraine to target what they said was an underground weapons storage site. In April, the U.S. Navy announced it is itself pursuing what it calls a hypersonic air launch offensive anti-surface, HALO, weapon, awarding two contracts to Raytheon Missiles and Defense and Lockheed Martin, with a total value of $116 million, to develop the system. This would allow U.S. jets taking off from aircraft carriers to launch hypersonic missiles capable of sinking ships. The HALO system will be a high-speed, long-range air launch weapon that will provide greater anti-surface warfare capability than what's available today the Navy announced.